Hello my soccer universe! It's the time of the year again where I reveal to you what were my 10 favorite shirts of the year. Now um, getting into it, I kept up the Spanish background from the last unpacking video for that Celta shirt here. Um, there is a little bit of a Hispanic flavor uh, to this but not a big one. I chose the Ajax shirt. We'll see a little bit later. There is a good reason for that, but also because it is one of my favorite shirts from last season. Not only that I got, but also that I rated up there. So uh, that makes sense as well. Now, I, of course, did not look through all the jerseys that have been released this year. In a way, it was an easier year because not too many national team jerseys have been released and there will be not too many national uh, team jerseys in this list thanks to the covid pandemic and you know all the euro jerseys have been released i skimmed a little bit over the afcon jersey where i will do a review but didn't see them all but none of them are really kind of uh, about to crack into the top 10 at least from what i can see already so having 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 said that my focus was of course on the leagues that i cover and also european competitions and you know all the national team com com competitions so um not only what i have already reviewed but i look at the champions league europa league europa conference league i looked into the area divisie um and the primera uh, liga or liga portugal uh about um about jerseys that i would uh, enjoy there and yeah I came up with this list. I did not go into South America. I know there are many people that say that South American jerseys this year have been a lot better. I do or tend to agree with that. However, in the end, I actually, actually decided um, this top 10 is not only jerseys that I really, really like, but that I really, really would like to have as well. So kind of this is my first shopping list for the next year uh let's see how many i've i will get i have been actually doing quite well for uh the one last year uh something that i will do at the beginning of of the year and we'll talk about the jerseys that i've been buying uh that i want to buy for this year so yeah i'm gonna go again from 10 to 1 i will after the third jersey show you five jerseys that i have considered uh but ultimately didn't make the cut and without further ado here is number 10. This is the Roma 4th jersey. Uh, really, really love this one. A, I, I actually think uh, Roma's colors work very well with a dark base like black, but I think even better with the navy. I do love the old style crest on there. I love the pinstriping and that they have the lupetto all over. Really, really love that one. Um, so it is mainly in there because this is definitely a jersey that I would like to add to my collection. Although it's probably not a highest priority, but I do love this one a whole lot. And that's why it made it all the way up to number 10. The only downer with that one, it will forever be linked with the 6-1 defeat at Bode Glimt. Number nine um, is also one that I want to have um, is the Southampton current home jersey by Hummel. Sponsor aside, sponsor is ugly. We, I think we can all agree on that. But I really, really, really love the layout and what Hummel produced here. From the uh, really interesting color to the striping with the black outline and then the chevrons in there. There's just something about this jersey that I really, really like. The only two downsides of that one um, are, of course, the sponsor and that the back is red. The striping should continue on the back line like that. Absolutely love this, this jersey. It's very high on my list for getting. I actually have uh, waved two Southampton shirts that I was about to get. I said, nah, I rather want to get this one. And maybe that's what I'm going to do. Not that I have a huge priority on uh, adding another primary, but Southampton... This one is really, 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 really nice. So uh, that's my number nine. At number eight, going all the way to Portugal, we have the FC Porto away jersey. Very similar to what Real Madrid had two seasons ago, I think. But I absolutely love it. Again, a New Balance shirt in navy blue. Um, I love that they just took a navy blue that has a little pixelated pattern on there to give it a little bit of interest and then the golden accents. It works in perfection. Absolutely works in perfection. Totally love this one. Really would love to have this one to be honest uh, to also give my Portugal 
uh, collection, which is a rather minor three jersey, which is a little bit more of a, more of a variety. Really love the one here. Even the um, uh, crest that is uh, just made monochromatic actually looks quite well. I can sign up on every little detail on this one. Absolute banger, in my uh, opinion. It only gets better from here. Number seven um, is the Fiorentina third shirt. You can see it as a co. I really love what Fiorentina put out this uh, season um, with the old logo. Um, and it is kind of a little, it was a toss up between the white one and the yellow one. Um, I could see an argument made that the white one looks better. However, it's the yellow one that I want to have. So, and you know, also rule, I only took one jersey per team because otherwise you would see a few teams double or triple in here, which is not the real sense of a top 10. So uh, this yellow one is very high on my list. Uh, I want to have a little bit more variety in colors back there. I love the yellow with the purple and even the white stripe. Uh, it just has a lot of interest. The white one to me uh, is only white and purple, except for the little red for, of the logo, which um, yeah may, might be a little bit bland. And you know, I, I always too often go for white jersey. That's why I love this yellow one so much. Um, I really, really like it. So uh, that is my number seven and uh, it's kind of on my target list of jerseys that i would love to get this year number six is a one um, that actually grew me over time this one uh the atletico madrid third jersey this one i gotta say when i saw it initially i just laughed out loud because it just looks so ridiculous with the color in the red and white stripes i have watch it in match this looks absolutely awesome um and yeah I would like to, I mean, I need an Atletico Madrid alternate in a way. And so that's why I would really love to have uh, one uh, and uh, one kind of in bluish. And I think this light blue is even better than the navy one they had last season. Also full color, color, color crest. And then a little bit this interest with this pattern on there. And I know it's a reference to the old Vicente Calderon. Um, I probably would have made the red and white a little bit more prominent, but overall... I really love this one and I'm as surprised as you are maybe that this entered the list but yeah a jersey that I'm very much looking forward to having is my number six released this season. At number five a team that I actually don't like but this has been on my radar for quite a while it's the Bayern Munich away jersey. I actually I, it's a toss up for me between the away and the third jersey but I actually since I like the this black one uh, for two reasons a little bit better a uh, black and gold is a color combination that I think is very befitting to Bayern it's also a reference to the city of Munich with black whose colors are black and yellow yes you cannot do black and yellow yellow Bayern jerseys because that's Dortmund but you know add gold because Bayern has been winning all, all over so this classy look really really love it and then you have kind of the uh, lozenge pattern from the Bavarian flag in there as well so it's not a really quarter jersey a little bit uh twisted same pattern that you have also in the fc bayern crest so i really like it. it's a very cohesive shirt the third jersey with the alpine landscape is also really 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 nice i gotta say it is right up there but i think if i had to choose between those two i think i would rather go with this one that's why i decided to put that one in there so yeah that is my number five now I think from here on, anyone could be number one, really. And uh, number four is one shirt that now in my research, I got to it. And we talk about the Willem Dway 125 year away jersey. Um, I think I had seen it before and I was not 100% sure about it. But, you know, I had had in back of my mind, I really would like to get a Willem Dwight jersey. And I think a home jersey, you know, with the uh, red, white, blue, red, white, blue stripes. Stri stri it's just one of those fun kits that I really would like to have. And then I saw this one. Boy, is this awesome. Um, it has a little bit of tinge. I mean, too many sponsors. That's maybe the one thing that, uh, that uh, puts it down a little bit. But it has a little bit of tinge of the Renaissance jersey for Italy because there's this uh, kind of floral pattern in there. Dark blue with the orange sash, which is goes, of course, back to William of Orange, after which the club is named. Uh, and basically has this royal uniform. Then the golden details, the old style crest. Uh, it's awesome. I'm uh, at this moment, I mean, Willem Dwey, uh, 
you know, I, I obviously if RDTV visit him, the most outstanding ones are William Dwayne Herrenwein uh, in many ways, because they are, uh, if, if you go outside of the top three, the autos are the ones that are definitely different and in a way unique. So I was always there, but this one, oh yeah, yeah, and Rob, I, another, I really, really love this one. One thing I would really like is the sash goes all, all, all the, all the way through, but this is an absolute beauty. And is my number four. Now, before we go into the top three, which have a very similar theme to it, uh, I want to show you five jerseys in alphabetical order. This is not in order now, alphabetical order, how I call the teams that did not make it. The first one is the Brontby Home uh, jersey for European competitions. Another Hummel masterclass. I absolutely love the sash that is with, a, uh, with three. Uh, grades of blue. They also released a bluer jersey, but to be honest, that uh, actually didn't quite cut it uh, for me. I do love this jersey a whole lot. Then we have the Crystal Palace away jer uh, jersey, where they just took the eagle from the crest, pulled, pulled it all over, and you never can go wrong with yellow and then uh, blue and red striping in there. That's uh, really, really nice, in my opinion. Then we have Espanol. I could have chosen almost any, anyone. I went with the away jersey. I really, really, I mean, sponsor. This is one of the deepest sponsors out there. But I love the red and then they have the blue and the white in there. Uh, that is, is a great com com combination. It's a little bit different. Um, just did not make make cut, but I needed to get a Espanol jersey in there because they have one of the, one of the best, if not the best set in La Liga this season. <laughs> Uh, we have the Russia Vaser uh, jersey. Yes, this was released this year. I had to look it up. I totally love that it's white and then you have the Russia flag all across. Pretty nice one. Um, and the Sampdoria th uh, third jer uh, uh, jersey. Uh, also, Sampdoria over, I think, has one of the best sets in Serie A. And I totally lo love that they take a traditional third jersey just in red but kind of switch it around a little bit and you have kind of the band going on one side the sponsor again the green is a little bit annoying there uh but if you can get a gay plane a uh, really really nice shirt so right up there so we enter the top three and at number three this was really really hard but at number three for me is the raya vaikana home jersey all the Rio shirts are really, really great, but I really love this home, home home jersey. And it is really hard to get at the moment, uh, if not impossible. I really hope they re-release it because that is one I would like to have. And it would actually kind of put the finishing touch on my La Liga collection here. Although Athletic Bilbao I should also get. I cannot say I love that the, they took the arrow from the crest and put it as a sash. Absolute amazing, amazing jersey. So what can beat that one? Well, at number two, I could have gone with the Ajax third jersey, one of the most talked jerseys out there. And uh, not and giving you a little bit more difference in the jerseys that I'm gonna show you, um, it might have made sense. However, I, as much as I like it, and I think this is a 10 star in many ways, because it's just the black and uh, the Jamaican color or Ghana color, African colors really fit well together. I also think it's a little bit too overhyped. And to be honest, the one Ajax jersey I want to have is my true number two. Uh, you can see as a corner, but the true number two is the current Ajax home. What a classic, beautiful Ajax jersey with the old style crest. This is super, super top on, on, on my list of jerseys I want to get. Uh, you know, in the first half of the, of, the, of the season. I absolutely love this one. And I probably have to pounce in the next two or three months just before Ajax is going to hit a quarterfinal or semifinal in the Champions League. I love that they're harking back to the classic 70 star with a slightly uh, smaller center strap. You have the old style crest there. I love the color. I love that in the RDV they only play with numbers, no names up there. How perfect is that? Now, my only um, problem that I have with, with that is I probably will get it plain, but if I would get it with some patches, should I go for the Champions League patch? Because I really like, I want to have the one where it says four winners, or should I go again with Eredivisie? Yeah? And then if I go lettering, I mean, Champions League, I probably would not take a name, but for Eredivisie, it would be nice to just put a number on there. And then the question is, is it 14? But they're not giving out 14. Shall I go with one of the other players or yeah? That's where I'm a little bit um, still conflicted. That's my number two. And this is, I loved it the moment I saw it. And yes, it's maybe not the most exciting jerseys, but it's such a classic look. This is finally an Adidas Ajax jersey, jersey that I can get fully home jersey, that I can fully behind it. And I always want to have an Adidas Ajax home. 
that's the one. That's the one I want to have. That's why it is a number two. There's no need for me to get number one because I already have it. A jersey, I saw it. I knew I needed to get it. The Peru Copa America home jersey. For the first time that I can remember, Peru is actually not only... I mean, that per Peru jersey has been most frequently... Uh, is very frequently uh, voted as the best looking jersey out there. The white with the red sash is just an extraordinary design. But that you marry it with Inca culture, which it was such... You needed to do that. And getting the rainbow pattern on there, which also, I, as, as I said to you, there's all this rainbow mountain in, in Peru, which, which reminds me of as well, is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that they have it here on the bottom. This jersey, I saw it and I knew this is the best thing that has been released and that I could get it uh, makes me even more happy. I said it already among the best jerseys that I got this year. So yeah, kind of a double whammy. So those are my top 10. I would like to hear about yours. By the way, the Peru away jersey in dark blue is equally good. And then they have a pink uh, goalkeeper kit for those of you who like pink jerseys. In any case, uh, I would like to know uh, which jersey in, in here you do agree with and uh, what are your top 10 jerseys for the year. I would really be interested in that one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.